Hello everybody, this is Leszek here from Defensive Security. Hope you are doing great. Just want to share with you that my training practical Linux rootkits for red and blue teams has been officially accepted during the upcoming Hack in the Box conference in Phuket. Cat Hyde, I'm so happy and looking forward to it. Especially because, simply speaking, I just respond and with new energy, new goals and new approach to life. But anyway, regarding the training, this is a walkthrough of the open source Linux offensive and defensive techniques and tooling and to in 2023 that allows for chaining together and understanding better the threat ecosystem in Linux. I trust this training compilation and hands-on experience uh, will change the way uh, you look at the hardening and low-level monitoring of your critical Linux-based uh, ecosystems. So, what you can expect from it? Well, I believe you can expect, expect a lot. I mean, hands-on material is based on my 20 years of experience in open source ecosystems and Linux internals. So, we are going to cover many user space and kernel space rootkits from the perspective of attack, detection and live forensics. So the techniques and attack paths covered in this training include many different rootkit implementations. Uh, long story short, we can just you know mention about eBPF, XDP uh, rootkits, Ftrace based rootkits, Kprop, Uprop, Netfilter, system based rootkits, all those rootkits related to the PAM and SSHD, uh, the backdoor at HTTP uh, servers uh, are covered as well. Many different LD preload uh, based rootkits. Uh, we are going to backdoor startup scripts. We are going to create malicious Docker images and run the Kubernetes infections. Uh, not to mention about in-memory user space shellcodes and kernel modules loading. Uh, many different codes and samples and POCs are covered as well. So this is part related to the red team perspective. On the other side, uh, from the perspective of detection and forensic layers, uh, we are going to mention and use many different projects, including the greatest LKRG, uh, BPF tool for running eBPF uh, analysis, uh, Velociraptor AR, uh, very important and very powerful uh, platform. Uh, we are going to use OS Query, we will run command line based proc and sys analysis. Uh, we are going to use Sysmon for Linux, uh, Falco, Tracy, Sysdig, all those are included in the lab scenarios. We are going to use Tetragon uh, as well as Sandfly security uh, solution which is a very nice, very great uh, solution that allows you to run your incident response and live forensics uh, at scale for Linux boxes. Uh, on top of that we are going to use Zeek, Suricata IDS, uh, Moloch or Archime, Yara and many many more. So yeah, on top of that uh, there is one important part, the semi-automated semi memory forensics setup based on both versions of Volatility, Volatility 3 and Volatility 2, with of course automated uh, acquisition for boxes that are included in the lab. So every single lab scenario you can analyze uh, on your own side dynamically whenever you want to also see the perspective of the RAM uh, forensics, which I believe is the great part of the full experience of the training. So yeah, all that is possible thanks to the Purple Labs Cyber Range, which is the main virtual environment uh, that we are going to use during the training. So don't worry, you don't need to deploy any kind of local virtual machines on your desktop. No more struggling with initial setup, nothing like that. So yeah. Uh, if that sounds interesting to you, uh, if you are looking for uh, get more experience, more skills, more knowledge about Linux internals, uh, Linux attack, forensic and detection, then yeah, grab your seat today, uh, join the class and see you in Phuket. Cheers!